And welcome to KBLP LLC and Planet B O B, brought to you by King's Cannabis. And Michelle and I will be right back.
Okay, welcome to Planet B period, O period, B period. And hey guys. there's Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Yay. Hey, Yay. hello. Yeah. Welcome back, Denise. Oh, my gosh. I know it. I know it. I missed you last week. Oh, my God. I went off into a spiral of... <laughs> it was good. You God did good. What. You did good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> See? So what do we got on the agenda this week? Deer zombies. <laughs> I know, right? What can be more exciting? And this, I mean, normally I wouldn't put anything like this on the survival show, but it needs to be because this is actually yeah a bigger problem than we even thought. Oh I mean, yeah, they haven't told us everything apparently. Yeah. So yeah, this is more widespread than I even thought. Yeah, this I, I thought it was a joke at first. I really did. When yeah. it first came I was like, out what? a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard it, and I'm like, yeah, okay, yay, finally, the zombie apocalypse. However, that might not be such a uh, far-fetched idea yeah. anymore. It's actually, what, and the actual term is called chronic wasting disease. Zombie. There you go. Zombie deer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Zombie deer sounds better, but I mean, the actual term yeah. is CWD, which is right. chronic wasting disease. Yep. Yeah. I think they're just giving it a nicer name at this point. Yeah. That is just crazy. It is. And it's the truth, guys. It's actually been reported in 24 states. Yeah. I was about to ask you that. How many states? It's in 24 Four. now. Yeah. 24 states. Do we know the states or? Um. Let me see. I do believe I so. Haven't, I haven't found anything on the... the which, oh, see. I got it here. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. It's reported in Arkansas. Oh, well, there Colorado, you go. Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Maryland, Maryland. Michigan. Yep. <laughs> Michigan. Yeah. Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, yep. New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, Pennsylvania, South Dakota, Dakota Tennessee, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, West Virginia, West Virginia. and Uh-oh. Wisconsin. That explains the phrase. Oh, freaks. and Wyoming. So, oh, you know, your state. These states is going to be all over. Yeah. yeah I, there's no Ohio yet, though. You have it. Oh, Not yet, but it will be. Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No Ohio yet. But Not I, yet, yeah. but, but you know if it's in Tennessee and oh, it's yeah. in Illinois and it's in West Virginia, it's heading your way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that is just crazy. Yeah, one in ten they're saying. Now, yeah, what this disease actually is, is the animals get, call it wasting disease, they get so skinny their body starts rotting. Yeah. And it drives them crazy. Eats holes in their brains. Yes. And it'll actually start attacking their bodies yep there you go then what do we get from that zombies zombies people (laughs) oh my gosh yeah it's crazy now what should people look for like symptoms like if they come across any any deer or elk or anything that that (laughs) looks funny what what are the symptoms of this um they are stumbling they're not coordinated so if you see a deer like they can't or they can't stand or they're just you know like they were just born but they're adults (laughs) yeah uh excessive thirst but we're not going to see that i don't think we would see that Mm, yeah uh drooping ears very aggressive very lack fear uh lack of fear of people um and they're really skinny skinny uh drastic weight loss so if you can see their ribs yeah don't bother don't bother and it can spread directly from animal to animal and indirectly through contaminated water and food. Oh, wow. So, yeah. so like, basically, if, let's say, like, you know, there's there's people that, that leave troughs out for yeah. wild animals. Yeah, yeah. So, if one of these things, their saliva gets all over the, yep. the feed or the water, then another one comes and drinks right. or eats. Right, there you go. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's some scary crap. Yep, uh, and it's typically not seen in your uh, fawns or anything like that, um, uh, but they're very, very skinny, very emaciated, so uh, very poor. They look like they've been through World War Three. you know, very, they're not healthy yeah. looking at all. I think you'd be able to tell. 
um, uh, under 18 months old, you're not going to see it for some reason. I don't know. Um, and other symptoms, it, it could be like, uh, it could be a bacterial brain abscess. Isn't that nice? Uh, so they call oh it that God. too. Yeah. So it, yeah, it attacks the brains. It eats hole in their brains. So isn't, yeah, zombies people. That's how you get zombies. Um, so they basically can still just walk around even though they don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to look weird. <laughs> they're not going to look right. That's for sure. Um, oh, if, my God. So if anybody's out there, you know, a lot of people hunt deer, of course, in the fall for winter to eat. Um, you could get it through that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to this. The CDC, they're freaking brainiacs. We, we have, yeah. you know, our money's going to these people. They yeah. say, CDC recommends that hunters shouldn't shoot, handle, or eat meat from animals that show symptoms of CWD. Oh, yeah. Yeah, think. think? <laughs> mm, let me see yeah i sure i'm glad my tax money's going to that yeah aren't we happy with that yeah <laughs> but <laughs> oh it my says, god okay but it says CND, cdc also recommends that hunters harvesting wild deer and elk from areas with reported cwd should check state wildlife and public health guidance to see whether testing of animals is recommended or required yeah. in that given state or region. So basically, this is coming to a point where they're going to start requiring you yeah. to even test a deer. Well, got to have your hunting license, so you might as well get it. It's like Halloween candy. Get it screened, <laughs> you know. So now you have to have your deer screened. Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're saying where it's reported. But I mean, yeah. what about places where they may not know it's there? Yeah, very true. Because you know if it's in West Virginia and it's in Illinois and all these places, you oh, know it's in Ohio oh, somewhere. Damn straight, damn straight. <laughs> so, yeah, no. I guess I'm giving up deer meat. So, I haven't had it in a while, so good thing. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, and it's in Illinois, Iowa, and Wisconsin. So, yep. you know it's got to be in Indiana somewhere. Sure, sure, of course. That's a lot of farm country there. Right, and yep. it's in Kansas. It's been reported in Kansas and Texas. So you know Oklahoma's got to have it somewhere. Oh, oh hell yeah! Oh, definitely. Just hasn't <laughs> been re recorded yeah. yet, apparently. It's in Mississippi, so it's probably in Louisiana. I mean, this is if it spreads as easily as they're saying. Yeah, we could be I mean, in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're likening it to the mad cow disease, which spread in really? the eighties and nineties. Um, that eating wild game is increasingly risky. Okay. okay. Yeah, I've listened to this. Uh, this one guy said, this one scientist says, and he, um, uh, he, he says, if Stephen King could write an infectious disease novel, he'd write it about prions because, uh, it starts in the tissue of the brain and spinal cord, weight loss, clumsiness, excessive thirst, duck, this, the zombie disease and drooling. And bursts of aggression. You know, that would be my luck. I would start losing, yeah. finally losing weight in my life and start yeah. drooling and peeing on yeah. myself. That would be my yep. luck. Yep, and there we go. We lost the weight, but damn it, we got the deer disease, the zombie disease. Yeah. So, it's brain eating. It, it eats holes. says here that overall occurrence of this disease nationwide, in other words, like for the free mm -hmm. range deer and elk yeah. and stuff like that, but it says... That in some areas, the disease may exceed 10%, which is 1 in 10. Right. And infection rates of more than 25% have been reported. There you go. There That's you go. just the shit that they know about. Exactly. How many people? That is yeah. the stuff that they know about. Yeah. And they're saying it could jump to humans. So yeah. if you thought the zombie apocalypse was hearsay and... Laugh, laugh, ha, 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 gotcha. No. And they are worried right now, about it. There, there could be, like, God knows how many little Quasimodo deer out there <laughs> running around. <laughs> we don't know. There you go, yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. It sounds like uh, uh, the shit weasels. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm laughing about this, yes, but this but is it's, actually it's, freight. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it, it's quite scary to me. It is. It is. Cause you you want to hear some really, really scary stuff. We're just hearing about this, right? Mm -hmm. But do you know when the first disease was first identified in a captive deer? Yeah, 60s, wasn't it? 
Yep, in the 1960s in yeah. Colorado, and in a wild deer, it was 1981. So we've known since 1981. Well, we haven't. The government has. Well, the gov- yeah, pardon me. The government has known since 1981. Yeah, go figure that. that is blacked out freaking diseases yeah. out there. Yeah, don't tell us though. That's and okay. Deer. We don't and need to know. And it's finally spreading to all these states. Yeah. And they're just now deciding to tell us about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're going to figure it out. That's why. It's like, oh, these don't look right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, and, and it makes you wonder, too, like, you know, people who have in the past maybe gotten sick to their stomach or had, you know, headaches. Yes. And, you know, maybe it's because they ate some whacked out Quasimodo deer. They don't know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They don't know. Um, they could have attributed it to something else, and it could have been this. You that know. is so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, because you know how well they tell us things, so, yep. That is nuts. It is, it's crazy. Um, they fear it could spread to, to spread to, well, yeah, you think? Um, um, oh, this is also, people who are in Canada, you think you're you're safe? No. Nope. Uh, it's also been reported in two provinces in yep. Canada, yep. and in reindeer and moose in Norway and Finland, and there's been a small number of imported cases reported in South Korea. Now, this is my question. Yeah. How in the hell does an imported deer disease get in South Korea? Um, who knows? How, how does it get there? I mean, do they import deer over there? Meat, maybe. It's... Or, uh, maybe meat or maybe yeah. it's in, like water or, yeah. you know, kind yeah. of grain or something. Could be. Um, Could be. Um... <laughs> But listen to this. It could take over a year before an infective, infected animal develops these symptoms. That's what? a long time. So you could be... So so whether they have symptoms or not is pretty much irrelevant is what they're saying? Uh, pretty much. It may take over a year before an infected animal develops symptoms. Great. Great. Nobody's going to be wanting to eat deer now. Now they're going to be everywhere. They're going to be running in front of our cars. <laughs> There are no, ah, it is fatal to animals. There are no treatments or vaccines. So there you go. Yeah. So it makes you wonder, though. I mean, how long before this thing, you know, morphs yeah. to where yes. it can be? Yeah. Given the, or how do we know it hasn't already? Just They're because, saying no, but we, I, they, we didn't even know about it for years. Yeah. So we don't know. Oh, listen to this one, though. It says... The infection rates among some captive deer are much higher in the rate of 79%. Holy crap. So four in five deer that are like in these little wildlife <laughs> preserves and whatnot. Yeah. You know, and, and are being, you know, treated like cattle or whatever. Yeah. They're, yeah. Great. 79%. Uh, yeah. Oh. Listen to this. Since 1997, the WHO, the World Health Organization, has recommended, now this is good, has recommended that it's important to keep the agents of all known CWD diseases from entering the food chain. No shit, you think? (laughs) Wow. It's recommended... Yeah, well, it's you think that we don't we don't oh, feed Quasimodo my... deer to the public. Yeah. yeah. Okay. To keep all agents of the yeah uh, from entering the food chain. Good idea. Wow, no mm. need to come up with these ideas. Great, isn't that nice? It that's I call him Quasimodo. I should call him Fred. You know, yeah. Fred the yeah. <laughs> Fred the deer. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But they're saying sure. there have been no reported infection in people, but we don't know that. But, that, but I'm saying, okay, this is what my thing. Just because they're not walking around drooling and trying right. to bang their head up against walls and eat doesn't mean they don't have it. Yeah. What, what if it? What if it comes in the form of like diarrhea or stomach yeah. pains or headaches or blinding? I mean, no, you don't know. Yeah. Then they're thinking it's something else, and here it right. is, this freaking zombie yeah. deer thing. Exactly. Exactly. You know? So they don't know, or they're not telling us. Which yeah. is because they're saying there's no treatments or vaccines. So if it spreads to humans, guess what? The Walking Dead will be real. <laughs> so that's so crazy. Basically, there, there is no way no. for a deer to survive. No, no, they're, they're going to die. Yeah. So that's my question too. It's like so obviously it's like some really strong. 
uh-huh. disease. Like yes. it's like it's like super. This is yeah. like healing crap right here. Yes. You know. Yes. And yes. it's like we're <laughs> yeah. Know? So 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 we've got this 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 extremely strong Gila freaking Fred zombie disease deers running yep. around. Yep. And we're just praying that it doesn't spread to humans. Well, listen now. Another thing. Okay, what eats carcasses? You oh, have birds. birds. You know wolves. Well, according to this, it has not spread to any domestic animals yet. It says it says CWD. It's up here. Yeah. It doesn't appear to naturally infect cattle or other domesticated animals. They don't eat the. They didn't eat the dead deer. I'm talking about animals out in the wild that eat dead <laughs> yeah. things. Okay, you got your vultures. Great, we're gonna have zombie vultures. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah. Your wolves out there. Your your coyotes. Anything that eats would eat a carcass. There you go. Right. So that's true. Yeah. You, they're dying uh, out in the woods. You don't know they're there. That's very true. So how, how do we know that they're not spreading to them? Yeah. Have they tested wolves? Have they tested? No. Nope. They said domesticated animals. Yeah. Domesticated. So, so yeah. they have not checked wild animals. They haven't checked eagles. They haven't checked crows. The they crows. Haven't checked- yeah. Vultures. Yeah. I'm saying them vultures, yeah. man. Mm, crows. Yeah. Um, so, um, elk and moose are also in that category, by the way. So, yeah. So, so then you've got the reindeer. Yeah. God knows what else is, you know, what else is, okay. Well, we're, I'm going to look up something right now. Okay. We're going to look up what species are related to deer. <laughs> but while you're doing that, I'm going to, uh, you know, um, I'll go on with that. I mean, these animals are dying in the woods, okay? So, how do you know, we don't know what animals are eating them. They're looking for food, you know? So, how many out there are are actually infected and we don't even know about it? That's the scary part. I mean, your cattle is usually on ranches and stuff. You don't get it, it, that animal out there. They get rid of it. They're not going to let their cows eat it. Of course, they haven't found it in cows. What a stupid revelation that was. But I just you just don't know. Um, your birds, uh, some of your wild dogs, coyotes, uh, whatever would be looking for meat. That's what's going to, they're going to get infected. So. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm, I'm reading something here. And it's, I have to confirm it through a few places just to make okay. sure that I'm okay. not. It says they can die without ever um, developing. They could die because they have it, but they won't have the symptoms. So, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. That's crazy. <sighs> crazy, crazy. It could uh, spread between animals. Bod- body fluids, saliva, blood, or urine. Um, contamination of soil, food, or water. So if you get a deer that pees in your, uh, infected deer that pees in your stream, Yeah. Once introduced into an area or farm, the CWD protein is contagious and can spread quickly. They believe those prions, that they call it, can remain in the environment for a long time. Okay, are you ready for this one? Yeah. Okay. According to the Brown University, and this is several places that have the same thing, uh-huh. there is a close relation between rabbits and deer. Okay. It's the same kind of relation that is between boar and elk. And the reason for this is just the, the, the makeup of their bodies. Okay. So basically, they're closely related. Now, yeah, that's scary. Now, listen. Rabbit. Listen. Rabbits are very close to deer. There you go. Or are close to elk, which elk and deer both can get this disease. Right. So and moose. that's in for yeah. a second. Okay. <laughs> no, take this in. They have been experimenting with this. The CWD prion has been shown to experimentally. They infected squirrels, monkeys, laboratory mice uh, that carry some human genes. A study began, now listen to this, in 2009 by Canadian and German scientists evaluating evaluating whether CWD can be transmitted to um, 
It's a type of monkey that is genetically closer to people than any other animal um, that has been infected with CWD previously. In 2017, they presented the summary of the study's progress. And there is a site you can go to. Um, I'll see if I can get it on there. In which they showed that it was transmitted to monkeys that were fed infected meat or brain tissue. Um, to, to, to meat from these deer was also able to infect the monkeys with CWD. These are the ones that are close to human genes. So there you go. That is crazy. So yeah, yeah so, so they've so been experimenting with this. That is crazy. And then like the, the close relationship, yes. like I was talking about here, this is this is unsubstantiated by other people, but it's like they're they're saying in their tests that rabbits and deer yeah. are very close to that rabbits are actually un basically unrevolved the um the, the rebel you know, what the hell am I trying to think of? Evolution, thank you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That the the rabbits didn't the evolution just slowed down and they stayed back where the deer were for and they're, they're these people are claiming this yeah so if this is true think about this for a second rabbits who run around our neighborhood yes poop in our lawns eat, and they 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 eat and they do everything else yep. <laughs> yes that yeah. they you know that there's a possibility there oh can you imagine zombie rabbits oh that's creepy. And these are the same people that are trying to say that boar and elk yeah. are related. Yeah. I mean, whether they are or not, I do not know. Yeah. I'm not a scientist. But you, you know so that, that one species. There's people out there that believe this. Yeah. But you know there's species of monkeys that are close to human. they got some human genes well, that we have. They, they test on pigs for humans. Yeah. And so they have been doing that. Pig DNA is, is more related yeah. to, to the human than, they, this, than anything. Is there let's see. It's called a macaque. Monkey, M- I'll put it on here so you guys can figure yeah. it out. M A C. It's some crazy. A Q U E S, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Oh my It's God. this monkey, and it is genetically closer to people than any other animal. So, that is crazy. and they it, they got it. So, and again, there's no cure or vaccine for this guy. So. We're in a world of hurt if this keeps on. There is no doubt. So you think being prepared is bull? Ha. Ha. Uh, They said prevention. Now, this is a 2006-2007 CDC survey. Why have we not heard of this before now? Right. I remember seeing it on the internet like last year, and I thought it was a joke. Nobody got really into it, though. I didn't see anything like I do now. Um, uh, they, they did, uh, survey residents. They must've been paid to shut up. Um, and nearly 20% of those surveyed said they had hunted deer or elk and more than two thirds said they ate it. But that doesn't mean they were infected or they ate infected meat. I think what it is, is this is now in so many states that they just can't. They can't hide it anymore. Yeah. It can no longer be covered up. Yeah. They're saying... yeah. Kind of like Lyme disease. Yeah. When it yeah. First came out, oh, yeah. Like, oh, no. There's no reason to panic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Now it's everywhere. <laughs> what I don't like is that what they say. It is not known if people can get infected. They don't know anything. Um, yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> thanks. Not, so, so we can have these things eating our brain right now, which, you know, some, yeah. some people around America right now makes me really wonder, but... <laughs> yeah, you have a year, apparently, so... You have about a year, so... Um, they're saying hunters should take the following steps. Do not shoot, handle, or eat the meat that looks sick or act strange. Yep, they... Or, or, or uh, roadkill. Sure! Yeah, we're gonna... We're, <laughs> guess what's for dinner, Ma? Roadkill. No. Um, but why... Now, this is good. They're telling you, don't eat or do anything. Then they go on to say, when field dressing a deer, wait a minute, you just told us not to eat it. Right, exactly. And and they're saying, wear latex latex gloves. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Minimize how much you handle the organs, especially the brain. Okay. So wear latex gloves, but there's nothing to worry about. (laughs) And don't use household knives or kitchen utensils. 
Uh, there goes my scooper. Damn it. Oh, anyway, wh they're telling us don't eat or handle that meat. But when you're field dressing it, wear your gloves. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is CDC wrong with this? The literally says on record that hunters shouldn't handle yeah. or eat meat from animals that show symptoms of CWD. Yeah. But they don't know if it can actually be spread to you. Yeah, I know. But so, <laughs> yeah, so there you go. So, but while you're field dressing it, make sure you wear the, the gloves and stuff. <laughs> Dear God, I, <laughs> I just boggles my mind. It really does. Um, it, <laughs> I don't get that. Consider having the deer or elk tested for CWD before you eat it. Yeah, you know, I love how, how they say, this is, now this is also, this is actually on the CDC site. This is actually what it says. It says, Right on the site, it says, today there is no strong evidence of occurrence and CWD in people. So there's no strong evidence, but there's evidence. Apparently. Okay. That, that's what I caught from that. Yes. But then they turn around, boom, and they say, there have been no reported cases. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> How many are unreported, may I ask, that so you know about? So they're saying there is no strong evidence. Right. For the, for the occurrence of CWD in people. But they're saying that. There's evidence, obviously. Yeah, when, yeah. when people say stuff like there's no strong evidence. Yeah, there's some. Exactly. You know it. You got to read in between the lines with this stuff with them. Because they, oh, they're yeah. so vague on some of it. First, they're telling you don't handle it, don't eat it. But if but when you do, you know, make sure you wear gloves. But you're going to eat this meat. Yeah, no. Uh, what is wrong with you people? But if CWD could spread to people, it would most likely be through eating yeah. infected deer or elk, but according to them, the disease is spread just by animal to animal and by water. Uh, food and water. So is that not, not how it would also spread with other things? You would think. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's some confusion here, boys. Yeah, they're kind of contradictory, <laughs> aren't they? Just a little. I know. It's just like, wow, okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. A study looking at chance of humans contracting zombie deer disease. Denver. Would you, would any of you eat it if there was a chance that it was infected? Ah, uh, hell no. Uh, no. No. Um, let's see. I need Mindy this evening. Oh, if there's a slight possibility, it doesn't bother, bother this guy, Patrick, on the menu for his wife and two daughters. Our pan-seared venison steak. Okay. No. Um, well, that, that's another question oh. I have. Does the disease go away if you cook it? It does. I, it I don't think so. I don't think so. But, I wouldn't but, you think know, so. You know how, like, if you cook meat to a certain temperature, yeah. like the salmonella E. coli, whatever goes away. It's yeah. like, is that the same with the zombie deer meat? I mean, does this does this disease go away if you cook it or is it one of those things that just is in it no matter what i think it's in it no matter what because there's no cure or vac no treatment or vaccine for this so it's yeah. gonna it's tainted it's done tainted me tainted me oh no uh because it's like mad cow walking dead moment there okay. yeah you got it yes yes yeah Bob, um me. let's see this was first observed among captive mule deer in Fort Collins in 1967. Yeah, um, 19, think about that. 1967. Yes. yes. So 52 yes. years. Actually, 50, what is it, 53 years? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Or is it, uh, yeah, 67, something like that. 52, 52, 52, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So think about that one for a second, people. Over 50 years they've known about this. Yeah. yeah. 50 freaking years. Oh, they're also saying that um, they can have like this vacant stare. Like a zombie. Okay. Um, like a deer in headlights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, pretty much. That's what's and like, a, and it says exposed, deer, they're, they're not exposed ribs. Life. So there you go. There you go. If it looks like, you know... If it looks like The Walking Dead, then it is The Walking Dead, okay? Uh, the Don't comes eat out it. it. They're not mesmerized by light. They've got zombie deer disease. You got that right. Freaking Fred the zombie deer is just running around the forest. He sees lights and he freezes because he's got a freaking disease. I guarantee it. Yeah. Now, this is what, this is what, what other animal does that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's what else they're saying. You said there's not any strong evidence. 
then this one says, um, scientists have found no conclusive proof. Okay. okay. Again, we, yes. again, we run around BS. Yeah. It's like, yeah. hey, we don't have strong evidence, and yeah. we have no conclusive proof, but we have proof. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have something, obviously. Um, wow. So basically, you know, it's kind of like a shoplifter, you know. Three people saw them putting the milk in their jacket, but we didn't yeah. catch it on camera, so there's yeah. no conclusive proof. Yeah, there's no conclusive, <laughs> but yeah, but they took it. Yeah. We can't prosecute him until three people saw it, but the camera didn't see it, so we can't prosecute him. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing! <laughs> God. Wow. What is wrong with these people? I don't know, but apparently they've been experimenting with this and haven't told us a thing. And studies have been going on for years. So, um, again, it makes us question everything they tell us, as usual. Yeah. Oh my Let's God. see, zombie deer disease. What should you do? Don't eat it. <laughs> right? uh, yeah. You know, don't don't be doing that. Oh, no. But, but I really want to know that though. Does yeah. this disease get cooked out of the meat if you're cooking? I don't it? You know. know. It at a high temperature, make jerky or whatever. Is this going to be cooked out of it? Let's That's see. what I want. Let me see. Zombie deer. <laughs> it's insanity. Let's see if we can get an answer. Yeah, it is. It's totally insane. We never thought, you know, who'd have thought? Do we have answers, Tallulah? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be cooked out. Let's find out. That, that's one of my main things. It's like, okay, we have, we, have, we buy meat and it's got E. coli, or is we've got, we buy meat that's got salmonella, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, my question is, if we cook it, does it, does the disease get cooked out of it? You know what? I put that there? specifically in there, and it's not giving me any answer. Well, of course, because that probably means it doesn't. Yeah. Because oh none God. of it says that in anything we've talked about. So, I would tend to say, because they're saying no vaccine or treatment. There you think is that's nothing. The with Pelosi and Trump, they both hate you. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Not it for years. Oh, yeah. Seriously, this is, this, is, this is some scary crap. Yeah, yes, it is. It definitely is, because... Obviously, you know, like we said, obviously they've been uh, going around the bush, beating around the bush, and not saying anything for years. Well, and what really scares me about this, too, and this is another problem that I'm thinking, okay, deer is overpopulated anyways. I mean, right. they're like they are the, like the menace, they're like the cockroaches of the forest. You know, they just multiply, just keep coming at you, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like we have a hunting season for a reason. Yes, it's to call it, but now what's going to happen? Yeah. And you yeah, can, and we're going to stop hunting, and we're just going to have these things everywhere. So, and we can't have bodies out there. All that's doing is spreading it at that yeah, point. Exactly. So, what are they going to do about <laughs> that? Yeah, but like you said, what eats the bodies? Yes, Wolf, yes. Bodies. All these animals out there that are scavengers. Crows and vultures and yeah. And <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> zombie vultures? That's freaking scary, man. Ooh. And what's even more scary, okay, think about this one. Okay, you also have deer ticks, okay? Oh, so think, oh! Like yes. Deer ticks, oh. deer ticks <laughs> oh. eat the blood off the deer, then they come and get on us, and, you know, yeah, so think about that. What are they giving us? Oh! Is Lyme disease really not Lyme disease? Is it, like, is it the zombie thing? Yeah. What's MRSA? Is it really the zombie deer thing, and they're just lying to us? Yeah, what about MRSA? Yeah, there's a, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> now you did it. I never thought of deer ticks. Oh, my God. Yeah, you think about that because deer ticks fall, and they tell you check for ticks because the deer yeah. ticks can kill you. Yeah. So now, so now, now. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? Now you have this problem with okay. the ticks that are falling off, and then they they explode, and their little babies come mm -hmm. out, and they're getting Great. on high, yeah. your kids and everything else. So can the zombie deer disease be passed through ticks? Oh, my God. 
That's that. It's a, yeah, that's scary, man. Great. Yeah. So not only do we have scavengers to worry about, we have the little freaking hitchhikers that are yeah. on the deer that, that come off and come on us. So it's like you know that they jump off the deer and they they jump yeah. on the yeah. on the kids and the you know the dogs. <laughs> oh dear lord. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's that. This whole thing is just. Uh, and this is another thing, okay? It's a CWD. This is this is another play on words. CWD doesn't appear to yeah. naturally infect cattle or other domesticated animals. Naturally, did yeah. you catch that? Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. It doesn't appear. So, appear. Yeah. It does, doesn't appear to naturally. <laughs> so okay. So it doesn't appear to, and also uses the word naturally. So does that mean unnaturally? Yeah. They're spreading it. Can it be spread through some mad scientist that's going to take a vial? Yeah, where did this start? And and stick it into a cow. (laughs) Where did this, you know, how did this start? It just just didn't happen. Oh, I can guarantee you it is some lab somewhere, some government lab. They probably did it. Oh, probably toxic waste out there. God only knows. That really bothers me naturally. Appear to naturally infect. Right. So does that mean that they can be infected? But they just can't like catch it in the air or whatever. Yeah, or catch yeah. it through saliva. Can they catch it through something else? That that's that's just scary. What about you know? Because for years there, that all that toxic waste, these labs and everything, were throwing into these places, and the oh, yeah. wild animals are out there. Something happened. There is no doubt. That's like finding um. What are the, what do they call it? Um, um, patient zero. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you? Do? So, so the first one was in Colorado, but does that mean that was the first one ever? You, you yeah. would have no way of knowing. No, no. That was the first reported case. There you go. So yeah, you know, <laughs> you can't find patient zero. Yeah. So now, not only do we have to worry about the deer, the elk, whatever, having this this disease, God knows what. Then you have people that are claiming that rabbits and deer are related in some way, shape, or form. So does that mean rabbits can get them? Some people are claiming that boar and elk are related in yeah. some way. Does that mean like these wild freaking boars that oh yeah they're that crazy breed, like that breed like cats and yeah. and rabbits can get this? You know, so they you've got that to worry about. Yeah. Then you have the creatures like the the wolves, the coyotes, yeah. the, yeah. Birds, the wild the dogs, the vultures, yeah. the wild dogs, whatever. Coyotes, eating dogs, okay? yeah, yeah. It could be spreading this. Okay, here's another thing: where if they poop, let's say like they can't get it, but it comes out in their poop. Yeah, that's and what they're saying. Weird, you, they can catch it by that by walking yeah. in it, apparently. So yeah. there yeah, you go. So, so if dogs eat these things, or coyotes, or wolves, or whatever, they poop it out, and yeah. other creatures step it. Yeah. <laughs> then you have to worry about the deer ticks. I mean. Dear I, want God. I want to know yeah. can this happen and I want to know if it can be cooked out absolutely and I <laughs> tried several different ways of putting it and it will not give me an answer, a straight answer um, it, it keeps going back to you know what to yeah. do to prevent it don't eat roadkill oh you yeah, think so basically they're saying there's nothing you can do to no. kill it no just don't eat just don't eat it yeah pretty much pretty much <laughs> or if you or if you are do have a deer, make sure you wear your gloves. Okay. Okay. If I have to no. That is not gonna happen. Sorry. That's crazy. It, that's insane. See if you can come up with anything. You looking? I am. That is Okay, uh, well they got some here on rabies. Okay. That's not okay. rabies. Oh, oh, oh yes, I do have something. Okay. It says it says um thorough cooking will Inactivate the rabies virus, um, blah, 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 blah. It says, but meat from infected deer should not be eaten. Hunters should be aware that deer with rabies might have symptoms similar to CWD. Cooking does not destroy CWD prion. Okay. So cooking it does not destroy it. There you go. That's funny. So when I first heard you saying the symptoms earlier, I was thinking yeah. they just sell like rabies. So is this actually just some whacked form of rabies, and they're just lying to us? No, I don't think so. I, if it is, like it's mutated, yeah, like a mutation, like a mutation. Yeah, but they it get says that vacant look in their eyes, like they look so, like zombies. So if they have the same symptoms of rabies. You don't know if they're rabbit or if they got CW. It says cooking right here. It says it in the 
the New York government health, cooking does not destroy the CWD prion. So you can cook this infected meat until it's charred, and it's not going to destroy it. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, there you go. No, I don't think... If it's infected meat, it's like eating rotten meat, okay? Why would you eat it? To me, number one, there's got to be a smell to that. I don't know if there is or not. You know, you would think, because it's actually rotting. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's so, because they're, you know, that's what um, you said before that they said it was like they're rotting. Okay, then you're going to smell something, I would think. I could be, I don't know. I don't know either. Because that's not, they don't say anything. As usual. <laughs> that is what it says because it's something microscopic and it cannot. It says cooking does not destroy the CWD prion. There you go. So there you go. We She found it. Yay. Good and for that you. And that is from healthny.gov. So that's from the New York government, you know, their yeah. government site. It tells you what to do, not to do, whatever. There and it go. flat out says. Wow. That it cannot be cooked out. Wow. Anybody out there listening, what do y'all think about this? Seriously. Oh, my God. That is, that's totally insane. And, of course, they don't tell us till it's almost out of control. Um, because they can't hide it anymore because it's so rampant, apparently. So. Really? Yeah. I, I just don't go along with that. It's like, wow. Yeah, I don't like this whole flip-flop thing. No. Oh, it cannot be blah, 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 blah. But... You could, you know, you should yeah. eat it. Yeah. yeah, but don't eat it. And if you do have, if, if it could be infected, use gloves. Are you kidding me? What the? I don't even. I don't even. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even. You can't kill it through high temperatures and cooking, but the equipment you use should be put in boiling water of two hundred and twelve degrees. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> The paragraph above this literally says, cooking does not destroy the CWD. But then down here, it says, it says, you know, to avoid, you know, to cutting through the skull and spinal cord, blah, 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 blah. Do not use regular kitchen utensils. Right. Yeah. Wash thoroughly with soap and water, any nice butchering tools, work services, hands, and other parts of the body that has been exposed to the animal tissue, blood, urine, or feces. Yeah. Equipment should be rinsed with boiling 212 Fahrenheit degree water or sanitized with a chemical sanitizer. A so chemical sanitizer, no doubt. So, oh. so, so which is it? Can it be cooked out? Or because if 212 degrees cuts it, I mean. Yeah, no, I, I think, is that for sanitizing the utensils? Yeah, but how can the utensils be sanitized? It says not to and use he, them. Yeah, well, make yeah. up. Yeah, make up my mind, dear. I I would suggest so all, don't don't out. just don't use them. And, and if you do yeah. throw them, I, number one, you, they, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. If they they seem to be infected or something, then you know don't eat it. Please don't do that. It it just don't do it. Then it says here, do not cut through the skull. Blah yeah. blah blah. It says. Should you decide to take off the skull? Yeah. Should you decide <laughs> to, have, to handle the brain? Make sure you yeah. rinse thoroughly clean the skull cap, utensils, yeah. and work service with bleach solution. Yeah. Okay. What am? Uh, yeah. No. Oh yeah. You gotta love it. I no. No. Wow. I I <laughs> I have no words for this. No, really it can't don't. it can't be spread to you, but. Avoid handling the brain and spinal yes. tissues or fluid saliva yeah. and mouth parts of the game animals. Yeah. If these tissues or fluids are handled, wash hands thoroughly with soap and water. If these tissues or fluids make contact with a person's eyes, nose, mouth, flesh, whatever breaks into the person's skin, contact the local health department. You're going to die. <laughs> no, but listen to this. It's saying... <laughs> <laughs> that is so crazy. It made no sense at all. It says contact the local health department to see if the animal needs to be tested for rabies. So if this is if this CWD prion, yeah, nothing to do with rabies. And why would you be having to do that? Exactly. 
you got me on that one. Yeah? Makes no sense, does it? Okay, the brain, spinal cord, and other nervous tissue. Yeah. Spleen, pancreas, eyes, yeah. toggles, lymph nodes of game um, that may have CWC prions with additional organs, liver, kidney, heart, mm-hmm. saliva glands may pose a risk of infection for a number of diseases. Normal field dressing will eliminate most of these organ tissues, lymph nodes, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Although no current evidence links CWD to human health, out of abundance of caution, we recommend that people (laughs) do not consume... (laughs) Okay. Suspect of CWG. Jesus. What? So this is also from the New York one. So not only do we have the, the flip-flop BS yeah. from the CDC, we've got yeah. it from the state yeah. ones, yeah. too, now. Yeah. Even though there's no, no overwhelming evidence. There's evidence, but there's no overwhelming yeah. evidence. No conclusive. No conclusive. Just don't need it. Yeah, just don't need it. <laughs> but if you do, make sure you wear gloves. Oh, God. But, but yeah. think about this. If you just go out and just kill the animal and leave it there, you're leaving it for all kinds of other animals to get it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. So, you know, and there's no treatment or vaccine for this, people. So, <laughs> at whatever, yeah. it, if you get it, you're done. You're going to be a zombie. Okay. And I'm going to kill you. So, yeah. Jesus. That is totally insane. I, I, can't, I have no words for these people. It's just like, what? <laughs> I have nothing. I have, I'm just... Yeah, I, I don't either. So this is basically a disease that's been around since the 60s. Yep. And First, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First reported case of wild deer in 81. And it's gone through the years. We've heard speculation, but no one's ever known about it. But mm-hmm. now it's out. Yep. It's in 24 states. And you know the states that border these states. Yeah. They got it too. Oh, sure. There's no way they can't. Yeah. If it's spread that easily. Oh, come yeah. On. And 17 counties in Illinois. So there you go. Plus, uh, probably the whole damn state. I don't yeah. want to hear 17 counties. Really? I I just, uh, yeah, I'm just like, wow. Yeah, okay. But you're yeah. right. Yeah, how could it not be in here in Ohio? We're bordered by everybody who has it. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. So. Yeah, because what states border you? Um, Michigan. Tennessee okay. or Kentucky? It's in Michigan Ten- and Tennessee. Uh, no, Arkansas. Kentucky. Kentucky. Um, yeah. So. So three out of those four states yeah. border you. Yeah. So we yes, we have it. I'm sure. We have a whole. In fact, um, not far from here, maybe about three tenths of a mile or so, is a whole protected area for deer. We have plenty of deer. Believe me. Oh, so if it's a protective ear, that that means almost like a captivity type thing, almost, right? Yeah, and which is more prominent there. Yeah, so they're saying. So if they like, if they can't just wander off two hundred miles away, and they're yeah, basically nope. in a wildlife area, that means they're yeah. they're. So so yeah. yeah. So they actually have a seventy five percent. There you go. Percent. Yep, we're going to be part of the zombie deer apocalypse. Yes. Yeah, it says infection rates among some captive deer yeah. are much higher. There so, you go. So they, all it's going to take is one of those deer to catch this, just yep. one. Yep. And then four out of five of them will And have it. there's a gypsum company that um, owns all that property. It's a plant here. Ha <laughs> ha, gee, you think they'll get it? Yeah. Um, if they don't have it already. Yeah. So, yeah. What? <laughs> yep. Yeah. There you go. Okay, guys, so yeah, let, let me go over those states again one yep. more time. Okay. Um, the states that have, this is just a reported cases, which you know, if you border these states, you probably have it too from what they're saying, how easily it's contracted. Right. As right. of January 2019, um, Arkansas, Colorado, Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, Pennsylvania, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. And Ohio. Those are the states that actually have <laughs> confirmed reported cases. Yes, and Ohio. I'm, I'm yeah, and you know Ohio. <laughs> yeah, and Ohio. There you go. And you, yeah. fun is like I said, you, you can't have it in 
Yeah. In Kansas and Texas and not yeah, having exactly. it. Oh, you can't cross this line. No. <laughs> exactly. Stop right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so New Mexico, Colorado. <laughs> No, I'm not surprised. New Mexico, Colorado, Kansas, and Texas has it. Oh, New Mexico. Oklahoma doesn't. I wonder, I, New Mexico. I wonder if that's where it started. Think about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Did it. And here we go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Denise, what are yes. the symptoms, of, again, that they need to avoid to, to watch out for these things? If these animals are drooling, oh, that'd be nice. They have this <laughs> vacant stare. Um, they're, they're stumbling, you know, they're not acting right. They're very skinny. Like you can see their ribs. Um, I, I think you'd recognize it. <laughs> it looks so like a it's zombie basically deer. almost the same symptoms as rabies. Yeah. 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 As it says here, aggression, lack of fear in people. Yeah. Plastic. So, so yeah, this is. Excessive thirst. They're going to drink your blood. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. They're, they're zombie deer. There you go. I'm sorry, but that's what they are. I don't they're care. Zombie. CWD, whatever you want. It's zombie. Yeah. yeah. That's what it and is. And it's contracted with the animal to animal contact and indirectly through contaminated water and food. And feces, so if one of these, saliva, yeah. feces, yes. all that. So if one of these animals drink from a pond, let's say yeah. like a little, or like a puddle, they're drinking from the puddle. Then one animal who's not infected from this puddle, and they they drink from this puddle and end yep. up with their saliva. They've got this disease. Got it. Yes. Yep. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The <laughs> difference between that and rabies. Rabies, you know, usually have to be bit, don't you? Or um, scratched. Pretty much. Something, yeah. So, yeah. or you, or if you're, you're, you kill the deer and you eat the, yeah, yeah, the spinal cord, all that kind of stuff. But the difference is, rabies can be cooked out yeah. if, if it comes to down to it. Well, they have a treatment for that. There's no treatment for this. No, so, and you and, can't cook it out. Yeah, and they have said that boldly: no treatment or vaccines. So, and it can, and absolutely, again, cannot be cooked out. There of you go. Meat. Yes. Cannot. No. So. Um, yeah, there you go. I don't, what can you say to that? I mean, really, don't eat it. But and then, it doesn't appear to naturally infect yeah, other people. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. There's, there's no, con, con, oh, excuse me, no conclusive proof. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So basically, yeah, like I said, so you think of that, like, when they say stuff like there's no conclusive evidence that this yeah. can infect people, it's kind of like saying in a store, three people seen a person shoplift, they found their, yeah. da- their jacket, yeah. they caught it on camera, but when they see the person in the parking lot who already been in their car and everything, get them out of their car, and there's no milk there. Yeah. Or, you know, no, whatever's in their jacket's not there. So they no longer have conclusive evidence right. that they shoplift because it's not on them. There you but go. But they sees it three other people. So basically the same thing with this. Yes. I'm just... I'm just saying, in terms of this. Yes. So basically, they have evidence somewhere. Oh yeah. That sure this do. can be transferred to humans. And apparently, they have been experimenting <laughs> with this. Go but figure. Some people, but some people may get it differently than others. So yeah. they're like, oh, well, it's not conclusive. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we'll call it, we'll call it this. Yeah, that may, it does make you wonder. I flushed the toilet, so there's no conclusive evidence. I actually went to the bathroom today. <laughs> <laughs> the evidence is gone, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, basically, I don't, I don't know what they want people to do, just not hunt. I mean, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, but that, you know, we're back to that the deer tick thing, the wild animals eating the carcasses. <laughs> I mean, this could yeah. this could get this could get yeah, ugly. Yeah, we're, we're talking. Yeah, because we have ticks that, that yes. suck their blood and everything else. They got them by their mouths, their ears, their eyes. Yep. They get them. They they, they swell up. They fall off. Their little babies yep. come out. Yeah, great. Yeah. Zombie Can ticks. ticks. Yes. <laughs> Zombie ticks. Oh, great. Oh, I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna Google it. Can ticks get? <laughs> <laughs> they probably haven't experimented with that yet. But do it. Do it just to see. What that what they have to say about this? Because that is, I, I mean, if you draw the, if you just follow the line, it makes sense. What they're saying. That's a bodily fluid. Sorry, 
So there um, you- yes, by the way, ticks have been known to transfer CWD, but only to deer, of course. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. All righty then. So, so basically, we can get the disease from a deer tick. Yeah. Yep. But we can't get the CWD bull. No. Bull, bull, bull. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Totally, totally, totally. What a bunch of crap. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, everybody, please be careful out there. Really keep an eye on this because this could really, if there's no treatment or vaccine, this could spread like wildfire. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like they said, if this was a Stephen King novel, this yeah. would. Well, it kind of was. Dreamcatcher. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. You had the animal, remember? The animals oh, were yeah. running. Yeah. What do you think about Lyme disease? Yeah. You do? Know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Maybe it's not really Lyme disease. Yeah, maybe it isn't. Hmm. Yeah, it makes you wonder what they have labeled <laughs> as something else that could have been this. That they're just not telling us, of course. Of course. Silly yeah. us. Why would we think they tell us? No, we, instead of trying to do something earlier, they wait till it's mega spreading. Now they'll tell us. It's like, gee, could you wait a little yeah. longer? So, no, it really does make me wonder if Lyme disease is a Lyme disease, and it's actually a disease that's actually this. Uh, it's a human form of CWD that's being transferred from the freaking deer. That could be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you really think about it. I mean, how do we know that's not the symptoms that we would get? Yeah. Well, there's treatments for it. So yeah, that's true. Uh, treatments for that. for Lyme disease. But it could be a mutation. Things. Yeah. So uh, you know how things mutate. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I could, yeah you, you could think about the links and the terror yeah. and the horror of it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For three hours. Just like when you be like, oh, my God, we got to, you know, we're... we're you know, we decided to do this, and it's like, it's frightening me. Yeah, more- <laughs> yes, yeah. So, yeah, so everybody who thinks we're crazy for having a zombie apocalypse clan, ha, to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. You may need that zombie apocalypse. Yes, that's right. Bug out bag, people. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, symptoms of Lyme. Bug out bag, good for uh, anything, but now we just added one more thing. Dang, dang straight. It's like flu-like symptoms, though, with Lyme disease. Stiffness, um, fever, headaches, little rashes. And Uh, here's another thing, too. Okay, go on, sorry. uh, No, that's okay. No, I was just reading the symptoms. You get a little rash in spots. Oh, Freak is here. Hey, Freak. Um, What do you think of these zombie deer, Chris? Now, this is something that I just thought about, too. What's it's that? like, hey, they're saying, don't shoot deer that have these symptoms, okay? So let's say all the hunters go out and they're shooting all the healthy deer, boom, 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 right. right? Okay, so boom, 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 they shoot all the healthy deer, so now we have left is these diseased deer. Right, that's nice, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, why not? I mean, who would have thought this was possible to start with, that there's no vaccine or treatment? Are you kidding me? This is some crazy stuff. Yes. What do you think of these zombie deer, Chris? Do you have them? Explains the freaks. That explains a lot, actually. But anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, this, I just, I don't, there's just so many things about this that I don't get. They're saying that it can't be cooked out, it can't be killed by this, 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 yeah. this, but they're it's, just telling you to sanitize your tools. Yeah, but sanitize your kitchen utensils. Yeah, no. You can have them. Let's see you use them. You yeah, haven't exactly. heard about the zombie deer? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. It's You have it in West Virginia. Sorry. Yes, they're there, buddy. <laughs> yep. Yep. Good luck with that. There is no vaccine or treatment for this. It's called a CW. What is it? CWD, chronic wasting disease. Mm-hmm. Yep. There you go. How could you not heard this? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, a lot of people probably seen this and probably thought it was fake news because a lot of yeah. people that ordered it first mm-hmm. were like these eyeball news outlets true, that true. like because the CDC was it's there not, too. It's, it's in Virginia. Too, yeah, but, it's there too. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. You got it. And Virginia and West Virginia, you got it there. Yeah. Um, but but no, when it was first reported, it was reported like by these just oddball news outlets yeah. that people yeah. were like, oh, it's made up, it's BS. It's, but then all of a sudden, it's like. 
it started getting picked up by the wire. Well, yeah. suddenly Yahoo's reporting it, and then all yeah. these other people, and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, here it is. Well, yeah, the CDC and had to say something. Well, yeah, because now all these people know about it. Then people mm-hmm. started Googling reports and this yeah. and this and this, and it's like now they're finding out that all this stuff has been around, and they haven't told us. No, and experimenting with it. So where did yeah. it start? If they have that, if they have the actual um, prion, okay? Yeah. Did they unleash it? Yeah. They, what the hell yeah. happened? Because many people believe that Lyme disease was was brought out yeah. by that, you know, that island that was off of Connecticut there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or in New York that uh, they, they experimented with diseases, and one of the things they were doing was experimenting with ticks. Yep. To see if they could use insects as warfare. Yeah, what a surprise. Know? Uh, and a lot of people think that one of them got out, and that's how Lyme disease came about. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. So if yeah. they have this CWD prion, okay, how did it get it? How did it get out there? It didn't just happen. Yeah, yeah. Diseases don't just pop up and go. Oh, here we are. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm here. You haven't heard about the zombie deer, okay? They are. And there. it obviously wasn't there before because if it spreads that easily, yeah. it would have been around. For oh a very yes, long time. yes. Yes. Uh, these deer, Chris, they are very emaciated. You could, they're real skinny like zombies are. Um, they got this vacant stare. They're drooling. Um, excessive thirst. They want to drink your blood, apparently. Um, but it also says it doesn't have to have all these symptoms. No. So they make fat and just drooling yeah. and look like they want to kill you. Yeah. They're very ag- they can be aggressive. There's lack of fear of people. Um, so there you go. They're zombie deer. They basically act like they have rabies. The freaks caused it. <laughs> Probably. But they but they act like they have rabies, but it's not rabies. No. So, uh, yeah, there is something really sick and wrong here, people. Yeah, very, <laughs> very wrong. Um, I'm it's telling been, you, see, yeah. the CDC and the government, they're blowing some smoke right up our rear ends. You got that right. something not right here. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but do your utensils. You can clean them. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be nervous because you can't get it, but hey, don't consume this meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> Use gloves. Okay. Oh, dear God. I hate these people just, and we, this is where our tax money goes. Go figure. Mm-hmm. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So they can, they just, just blow some more smoke up our butts. That's all they do. Yeah. So it's like, okay, so this is my question. Do you think this is just something, a hoax, to get us our minds off something else, or do you think this is really, it exists? I think it exists. Okay, yeah. I do, I so do. you think that it exists, so that it's like, but now it's like, now what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no treatment or vaccine for this, so, so how, apparently, we can't, apparently. You people how to prepare for this. A, you, well, you apparently can't they prepare. can't find one. If they've been working on it for this many years, apparently they can't find one. Exactly. So there's yeah, there, there's no cure. There's no dis- nope. There's no there's no vaccine. You get this. You're done. You're a zombie. Yeah, yeah. And whether they say you can get it or not, trust me, you can probably get it because it says that there's no overwhelming evidence, which means that there's evidence. <laughs> there's evidence that you can get it. It's just not overwhelming. Yeah, it's not conclusive. Because the person that actually got it probably killed over, so we really can't do research on him anymore. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, sorry. He died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Chris, Chris in the chat room says, you can't get it unless you get it, then you have it. That's it. Don't worry. Be happy. Yeah. Do the zombie dance. Yeah. I always, well, we'll have a reason to do the Michael Jackson thing. So, thriller dance. So, there you go. But, yeah, I mean, no, seriously, though, this is serious. This is not. This is some, no, this, yeah, this is seriously freaking me yeah. out. Yeah. Like, then they say if it acts aggressive, okay. But like, what if you're just out camping somewhere? You're just chilling out by a lake with your fishing pole, drinking a beer. Is some deer going to come up and just, like, freaking, you know, stick his antlers up your butt because he's got this weird Probably. Disease? They're aggressive. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> nom, nom, Next nom. Thing you know, you're yeah. being fucked off into the water. Yeah. Next thing you <laughs> know. Coming at you like you a wake bull. up a zombie. Sorry. Um, or yeah, apparently. Or, or imagine some big old goose. Have you seen how big them freaking <laughs> things are? 
The moose are huge. Imagine them getting aggressive. It's yes. like they're just oh my god, off yeah. And they go crazy and they're like yeah. blocking off cars like freaking Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I mean, this could be a scenario. Seriously. It's very possible. Very possible. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll do that for the next time. We'll do some scenarios. What would you do? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> would you survive? What, do you what, what would I do? Like if one, I don't know. I, really I mean, don't what would you do? I would. You'd have to find some place to go. We'll climb a tree. If, well, if you're out somewhere, you're just going to have to have a gun. Yeah, definitely. There's just no other way because deer have like these razor sharp things yes. in their hooves. They've got the antlers, and you know. Yeah. And, yeah. I just can't see how you would survive against a, a like a full grown male deer. Got that right. Even a small one at that. You know? <laughs> don't don't yeah. laugh, Chris. It's true. Attack of the zombie deer. It's true. It's yeah, true. I, mean, I don't even know, and especially like a, a moose or something like yeah. that. If they got this and they got confused and yeah. crazy, yeah. how would you, how would you even you, you would need like a huge gun. An elephant, you know, yeah, you really grenade, would. Grenade launchers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boom. Ooh, just boom. Don't eat that meat. It's just, God, yeah, that is a scenario. What would you do if you were out camping and one came across your campsite? What would you do? You would um, have no other choice. You'd have to take it down. Yeah. Yep. You have to. It's, it's, that's, uh, that could be, that could be something. Who knows? Yeah, you would definitely have to get... Well, especially where it's like if if this thing that the CW has the 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 same you know symptoms as uh, rabies. Yeah, almost yeah. the same. Yeah, there is of course rabies. Like I said, you can get treated. Bears are next. Ah, that's one we didn't think of. Bears will eat a carcass. Great. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that would be lovely. Zombie bears. Well, Great. You, yeah. So we have bears, wolves, uh, coyotes. Yeah. Yep. Your vultures, you know, zombie vultures. You vultures. That's scary. Thought. You've got yeah, you've got the crows, which which are just everywhere, and they're smart yes. too. Yes. Uh, Ooh. And then, then, yeah, and then you've got like even then you think about bugs and ticks. Yeah, ticks. And ticks. Things, yes. And things that that eat meat. You've got you've got flies that that oh, you know. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you've got well, flies that strike it, and the larva will eat the meat. And yeah. Well, they're they get in their feces. On, they're landing on your food. Oh. <laughs> We will never look at picnic food again the same way. Oh, yeah. The, well, you know the flies get in the in the feces. Rave. Oh, ravens. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. Zombie birds. Yeah. And they're gonna poop. They poop everywhere. So there you go. Yeah. And then the, the mosquitoes plant their larvae in water. The deer drink the water. Boom. No. We got, we got oh, great. <laughs> We're going to live in bubbles. I mean, the list is endless here, people. Yeah. I mean, it can go on and on and on and on and Yes, on. absolutely. Absolutely. I hadn't thought of bears. Good good one. Yes. Yes, bears. I wasn't really that much paranoid until I actually read, and it cannot be you cooked can, out of meat. Yeah, yeah. But whether you cook this meat or not, you can char the shit, and it's not going to have be, be safe to eat. Yeah, nope. It's so. it's totally infected. You're, it's done. Um, right. And the thing about it is, Chris, it's like in the it, freaking water in Flint, Michigan, man. It's yeah. Just yeah. Oh, yeah. Their water <laughs> thing that happened. Never yes. Be good. Ooh. Um. Like we were saying, though, um, what the scary part is is that, you know, we don't know where where patient zero is, which I think something got let loose by accident. Or like maybe it was an accident. Memory. This has been going on since the '60s, so mm, I don't know. My my guess is is they were probably trying to find some kind of cure for yeah. rabies or something, and made a vaccine and put it in a freaking animal. It didn't work, and it turned into this instead. It's possible. I mean, it's it's a, a mutation. Course, just a yeah. This is just a theory, of course. But yeah. <laughs> no. so. We know it was probably manufactured because oh yeah if it was natural it would have already spread all over the oh, place yeah. every yeah. year in america would already have it in canada and everywhere else so yeah. yep this is something that they they put out that was put out there that was tried that was tried to be contained and it could not be contained and they As got usual. so big, they eventually had to they had to yeah they had to say something well yeah too widespread too now 
Yeah. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, what the the possibilities are endless of what could happen. Mm -hmm. But if one person gets it, oh my God. Uh, but I think they have, and they just haven't told us. Like you said, we there's keywords. It appears. Yeah. Um, no conclusive. Yeah. Um, no overwhelming, <laughs> overwhelming evidence. evidence. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's evidence, just not overwhelming. Yeah. Evidence. It's it's just okay <laughs> evidence. Yeah. <laughs> it's like just I okay. Said, <laughs> it's just okay. Okay is not exactly. okay. The bathroom stinks. There's toilet paper gone. Yeah. Know? Well, I you think of you know fly. Kids, so there's no overwhelming. Evidence. Yeah. No, there's no overwhelming. <laughs> 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 exactly, that's it. There's no overwhelming evidence. Um, yeah, but flies, you know, they get in feces all the time. Ooh, that's just yeah. gross. Ooh. So feces and then also dead animals, too. Yes, yes. Worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. Worms, there's another oh, one. Oh, yeah, worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. The worms get in there, you fish with the worm. <laughs> Who tried to shut us? Oh, who tried to shut us down? They tried to shut you down. Who? Who tried to shut us down? What? Yeah, well, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, that's true. We have that honor. <laughs> we have that badge we're of honor. We're friends of the CDC, the government. Yeah, yeah. And then, next year, we're not posting this. We're not going to show it. Okay, we'll see. We shall see. People who are listening now, the second this gets done, download it because it, might it, be it could not be there. there. Yeah. And now it's in other countries too. This, so yeah, we yeah. forgot it. Norway. Yeah. You South know, in Canada, South Korea. Oh, what? It says he got kicked into another episode. Can you? But uh, but can you still find us? Are, uh, can you uh, us now? Don't you love it? Yeah, I'm still on the same one. It's so basically, here. our listener here got kicked into another episode because they're trying to ban us again. Yeah, probably. Lunatics, you know damn good and well that you all are liars. You put yes. this disease out there. You suck. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. If we're going to get kicked, yeah, we'll tell. Oh, you got back. Uh, somebody's, yeah, somebody's trying to do something because I'm still on the original. It's all good. Nothing's yeah, showing wrong. Too. It's showing live and everything. So if you are yeah, great, then... Too. Yeah. They're they're trying to. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, that's okay. The truth is out there. Ha <laughs> ha. Nancy Pelosi did it. Yeah, Nancy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would surprise me. <laughs> you know, Pelosi and Trump both have this disease. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pelosi, I can well see. She looks like the dead anyway. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Yeah. Trump ate a whole deer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I no, love I'm not. Ever, man. No, the I'm Democrats not. Democrats and the Republicans, I love them both. No. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get shut down for sure. Oh, well. It's called a cult. That's what that is. That's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the government is a cult. It's a cult, yeah. <laughs> It's the worst cult ever because they're not even yeah. organized. And now so, they're putting out diseases to kill us. Yeah, pro you know, <laughs> you never know. They want to cull the herd because we're living longer. You know, they up the you know retirement age to seventy because we are living longer. Yeah, like I have to be like seventy or seventy-two. I know. Is that crazy? I can retire at sixty-five, but at like only sixty percent. Yeah. Yep. Is that not crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. <laughs> it's like, ugh, damn, come on, people. Be in our wheelchairs, getting our yeah money, finally, maybe. By that time, they'll up it to 80, probably. <laughs> Dear God. Not at this rate, not as the zombie deer get us, so. Be at Walmart collecting cards when yeah. I'm 80 <laughs> years old. <laughs> Be the, the greeters. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I left it at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> don't feed the deer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all you people out there feeding these animals stop it now yes, cease and desist cease and desist okay you do not want them near your house you do not want no. them near your property 
property. No, no, especially. I mean, we're, we're joking around now, but this is actually a very yeah. serious matter. Yes, I think it is. It is very this serious. Is like this is this is insanity to me. Yeah, we that, have to joke about it, otherwise we'd you know be freaking out totally. Yeah. So that's, there is. <laughs> that's a release for us. So. Um, yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we have to. We have to. Chris has shiny, shiny gadgets. Exactly. Gadget. Him and his shiny gadgets. I think he was abducted by aliens at one time, but doesn't remember. Did you get the probe, buddy? (laughs) 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 He didn't answer you. Mm -hmm. Notice that. Uh huh. Uh-huh, we know. The zombie deers. <laughs> yeah, go on, go on the air, play with the zombie deer. It's okay. But yeah, be really careful out yeah, there. Yeah, if you see any deer near your property that seem to be very funny. Yeah. yeah. If you see those, for real though, if you see any deer near your property, around your family, if you're out camping, if you're out fishing. <laughs> That's a scary part, see, yes. Because I'm sorry, a deer's normal reaction is number one, not to come around people. Right, right. Number two, if they see you, they usually will like just bolt off in the woods. If you see one just standing there, like oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drooling and giving you the you zombies. get the hell away from it. Just yeah. back up slowly and just go. Do not go anywhere near it. Don't be trying to take pictures of it for Facebook. Just get the hell out of there. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> don't don't stick around to see. Yeah. The best part. I mean, I don't even know how to tell people to prepare for this. There's no, <laughs> no. Do, no, uh, just pre- prepare for a zombie apocalypse. Basically, have your weapons. There's no cure. There's no, cure. No. There's no, no vaccine. No, nothing. So there's, nothing. There's no overwhelming evidence it can be passed to you, but there's evidence. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So basically, you would just kill it if you can. Just kill it, and then well, bur- burn burn the body. Kill it if not. Just don't waste the bullets and just walk away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But if it comes in, I mean, if it's really hanging around or something, you have to kill it. Yeah, That's the only way. That is the only way. Uh, pfft, zombies. There you go. That's how you get zombies. Yeah. Right so, in the head. Yep, exactly. Apparently, it eats holes in the brains and attacks the nervous system. So, it is like a zombie symptom. So, which is crazy, crazy. It almost sounds like Alzheimer's for deer. Worse. Crazy. Worse. Yeah. Worse, and then they get that glassy-eyed stare. Great, wonderful. Yeah, that, yeah. So definitely, I mean, like I said, we we joke a little bit, but this is like for real. Mm-hmm. This is not a joke. You can look yeah. it up anywhere. Look at, I mean, yes. it is real. Yes. Do not, and they they tell you that it can't be transmitted to human, or, or there's no overwhelming evidence it can be, but then they'll tell you not to eat the meat. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. So, um, draw your own conclusion on that one. But if you do, wear gloves. I cannot cannot stress this enough. It cannot be cooked out of the meat. There you go. Or frozen, probably. Uh, Neither. Or yeah, yeah. uh, Don't eat it. Period. Yes. Don't don't eat. uh, But then it tells you. But if you do, use gloves. Yeah. Yeah. No. (laughs) Okay. No. That somehow doesn't sound right. It's just so wrong. But yeah. Please, if you're hunting. And doing that, please, please, you're going to have to be more careful than ever. You don't just have to worry about wild animals. you got to worry about this now. So. Yeah, for real. Yeah, this is, it is a serious matter. Um, and the only way, really, is like I said, kill it. That's it. Pretty much. Yeah. This, I mean, I really don't even know what else to tell people for yeah. this. Because for me, this is just more of an FYI, like, hey, this is, this yeah. is happening. Yeah. It's in 24 states. I can guarantee you it's going to be in every one of the states. Oh, yeah, definitely. And maybe definitely. not Hawaii, but probably Alaska. So. Yeah, well, it's in South Korea, so yeah, maybe yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, that's true. If it's in South Korea, very well could end up in Hawaii. Who yeah. knows? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, often, yeah I just, it just makes you wonder exactly where this started. So, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't something that just started naturally. No started naturally in the 60s oh it would yeah have already spread. it would have already been here been yes. around yeah every damn deer in the, the, the states would have had it in canada okay here's so. a question okay they keep recalling this there's tainted kid chicken the lettuce what uh-huh. if it isn't 
what they're saying. Ooh, good, good question. What if it's related to this somehow? You got fields. Do you go into the fields? That's true. Yeah, because they're saying that, you know, like salmonella and all this weird stuff is, is in the lettuce. And what, what, else, what was the last year? There was it was romaine lettuce. Yeah. It was something with that. I don't even know what it was. Tell you I the think truth. it was E. coli, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. Let me see. <laughs> it was romaine lettuce, and that was like a lot. And the chi- there was some chicken that was called back certain places. It was it was E. coli. E. coli? Okay. Uh-huh. uh-huh. What if it wasn't? Exactly. These are in that's- fields where, you know, animals go. And that's like... Okay, the- that's a very good... So, very- you know... <laughs> and we had... There was some tainted chicken out there. Um, something that I don't even know. Uh, say, they were saying there were wood chips in it. I don't know. Um, it didn't affect this area, but it's certain areas. And if you look back to some of these farms with the less, they're all rural, you know, you know, farming areas. And that's where a lot of these reports are coming from. So. That's true. So, you know, you know what if it isn't that? What if it's something to do with this? Because people were getting, you know, I guess we're getting sick. I don't know. That's some crazy stuff. Yeah. Zombie huh. lettuce. Will you stop it, Chris? Zombie lettuce. <laughs> Attack of the killer tomatoes. Here we go. But yeah, what if it? What if it's you know, they're telling us it's this, but we don't know. They tell us a lot of things. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's typing again. Zombie lettuce. I'm just looking at. It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like, hmm. But that romaine oh, was pretty widespread, so I don't know. That was U.S. and Canada. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it was E. coli, so mm, they say. So they say. So they say. Yeah, because how does E. coli get in all that lettuce? Yeah, yeah. On every damn one of them. Yeah. That's a good point. Dang. Who, yeah, who's they? Yeah, the... You know, you know who they are. Shh. (laughs) (laughs) They. (coughs) Oh, I'm dying here. Um, Yeah, exactly, Chris, exactly. They, they are they. You know who they are. Oh, my God, my my killer corn theory might come to life. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Yeah, because they eat corn. They eat it, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Saliva. There you go. Then they're going to poop there. Yeah. So, so is there an end to this in sight? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. They came, oh, he's, he's, <laughs> they came in the night. Yes, they did. Oh, yeah, I got to get off the zombie deer because this yeah. is going to like, consume, you know, it's not from the zombie deer disease, but it's going to consume my brain for like a week now. Yeah, yeah I know, right? <laughs> because it's in our head now. It's in our see head. Deer crying. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to have nightmares about the zombie deer and his zombie lettuce over here. I don't know. Right. Yeah, oh zombie lettuce. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. The deer walk among us. That they do. Um. So, yeah. So, everybody out there, please be careful what you're eating. Um. Always make sure anything. Wash it off first. You know, really, anything anymore. Forget you turning factors. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So. Okay, I gotta get out. Um, have you seen this uh, thing? I'm gonna totally change the subject here because okay. I'm I'm just like. I know, bums you out. Right okay. This. It's like this tarantula wasp. Have you seen this thing? Yes, I have seen a picture. What the hell? That is the weirdest damn thing. It's like. Well, they basically, they come down, and they will get tarantula spiders. They actually call it a tarantula hawk. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's a spider wasp that hunts tarantulas, and it, like, it says it um, comes down, it gets them, it puts, like, this poison into them, which kind of paralyzes them, takes them back to their nest, then he lays larvae on them, 
And then the larva from this this tarantula hawk eats the oh. tarantula alive. Oh, God. Like, slowly eats it alive. Dang. How weird is that? That is totally bizarre. And you would think this would be like in Australia or somewhere. Yeah, yeah, no, there you go. Like yeah. That's where it probably this came is like from. like in New Mexico. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow New Mexico. Um, yeah, you're infected with the other two, so makes you wonder. Yeah, um, it says here, it says, using their sting to paralyze their prey before dragging it to a brood nest as living food, a single egg is laid on the prey, hatching to a larva, which eats the still living prey. Uh -huh. Oh, and when the wasp larva hatches, it creates a small hole in the spider's abdomen. It enters and feeds voraciously, but it avoids vital organs for as long as possible to keep the spider alive. After several weeks, the larva pupates. Finally, the wasp becomes an adult, emerges from the spider's abdomen. Oh, dear God. That is, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. And New Mexico in 1989. Oh, ho chose this thing to become its official state insect. Great. Oh, isn't that nice? That's the female yeah. tarantula hawk, by the way. Yeah, tarantula hawk wasp. Yeah, the female does that. The male... Imagine if they have these in Australia, though. They're probably, like, as big as your head. Oh, dear God. I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not... No. I've always wanted to, but you know what? No. Um, I, mean, I don't know if they have these or not, but I bet you they're huge if they do. They gotta be. The male wasp, I mean the ma the male tarantula hawk, does not hunt. It feeds off the flowers. Wow. Male tarantula hawks have been observed practicing a behavior called hilltopping. They sit atop tall plants and watch for passing females. Oh, pfft. figures. Typical male. For passing females ready to reproduce. There you go. Typical male. Um, holy crap. Can you? I can't imagine being that poor spider. They keep them alive for weeks. Weeks. Official state insect. What's the matter with them? That is crazy. Wow. I'm trying to find out like, like if humans get... Stung by this thing, like what you should do. Yeah, it says the sting from a female is very painful. That's all. It, that's all I got. Um, they're hesitant to sting, but the sting is extraordinarily painful. Hmm. Hmm. It says if you've been stung by a tarantula hawk, it says this. No, this is from a. From an expert person, he says, the advice I give in speaking engagement is to lie down and scream. The pain is so debilitating and excruciating that the victim is at risk of further injury by tripping in a hole or over an object in the path and then falling into a cactus or into a barbed wire. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, one, uh, this guy says, uh, one researcher described the pain um, as immediate excruciating Unrelent, unrelenting. It simply shuts down one's ability to do anything except scream. Oh, the wasp, this wasp sting is rated near the top of the sting pain index, second only to that of the bullet ant. It's blinding, fierce, and shockingly electric. Oh, oh my God. The only animal, one of the few animals that can eat this tarantula hawk is the roadrunner. Huh. Wow. That's just crazy. This thing is actually not dangerous, does not require medical attention. But um, local redness, the pain, that excruciating pain lasts like five minutes, apparently. Probably seems like forever. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. That poor tarantula, I feel sorry for it. And I don't like them. But dang, what they do to it. That's crazy. I mean, how There's did... a man here who claims that he netted 10 of them Ooh. from a flower. 
He said he later enthusiastically reached in the insect net to re- retrieve them and, and undeterred after the first sting continued, receiving several more oh. stings. The pain was so great, he lost all of them and crawled into a ditch and just sobbed. Yeah, that's what they're saying, <laughs> that it's so excruciating you can't do anything but scream. Oh, my God, do you imagine? I can't, I can't even, no. I can't yeah. even. It says here the only thing that you can really do is to, as far as like medically wise, if you're not allergic to them, hopefully you're not. Yeah. Is basically wash the area. Yeah. Take some, take some kind of um, anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen and like uh, antihistamine. There you go. Oh, boy. It's, oh, holy crap. But can you imagine being that poor tarantula and they're eating you, and but they're not eating your vital organs. And they're basically incubating in there. That's crazy. Oh, I mean, how do they know not to eat the vital organs? I mean, how do they know this? Ooh. That's just crazy. That is insane. That is bizarre. That is bizarre. How did we never hear about these things before? I don't know. But apparently New Mexico has them, and they made them the state insect. Why would you do that? Mm. Why would you do that? Wow. It says just That's lie down great. and cry. It basically yeah. says that. I'm like, okay, no, I don't want to do that. Holy crap. Wow, that's just that's just bizarre. How do these things come about, I wonder? Just lie down and scream. Yeah, great. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, New Mexico. Why does that state keep coming up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's crazy. They said Chris said they came in the weather balloon that landed in the Roswell. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they had these little the little basket deer. and here it came. Yep. <laughs> brought the zombie to your visit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I didn't say it, you did. You brought it up. <laughs> Stop it. So yeah. That's crazy stuff. All this bizarre stuff. Wow. Yeah, why haven't we heard of this tarantula hawk? Dear God. Oh. Maybe we just don't pay attention. <laughs> I've not seen it. I'm, I look at the news, you know, I read the news. Feed. It's never on the news, though. You have to. It just recently came into, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. Oh, I get it in my news feed and stuff. I'm like, what the hell is this now? You know, it's just like, Wow. I don't know. I don't know. Bizarre stuff. You know, what else is out there that we don't know about? Makes you wonder. Right. Yeah. What other animal? We'll go to Australia. They got some biz- uh, no, new. No. <laughs> no. 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 no I'm not. I will not go to a place that has rats the size of dinosaurs. Yeah, no. thank you. No. No. <laughs> I pass also. And the snakes that'll eat your whole family. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not going to happen. Yeah, they can have that. I don't even know how they can live there now. I'm just like, how could you they live there? Think the same thing about us. You know, we, yeah. have, we got like crazy people with guns over here. So they're like, we'll take our ruse any day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know. They don't have the zombie deer yet, though. They will, though. Yeah, I wonder because it isn't. I wonder if kangaroo is like related to the deer. They kind of look alike. I don't know. Look it up real quick. See if they are. I don't, I don't think they are, but. They could be. <laughs> They could be. Hey, you never know. Let's see. Yeah. Interesting question. Our deer related to kangaroos. In any way. I mean, it could be something little. No, it says no. No? They, they are marsupials, and they are very different on the evolutionary path. Oh, Deer are, are very closely related to rabbits, apparently. That's what this says again. Huh. Oh, they're what? Rabbits. The rabbits are coming up again. But it's that one per- that person said that the deer were related to rabbits somehow, so... And according to this, that elk are related to boar. Okay. In some way, shape, or form. Some kind of evolutionary path thing. Uh huh. The hell is Interesting. that? Interesting. 
I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to have to really do some more research into that. But if yes. that's true, then you got something else to worry about. Now you got to worry about freaking boring rabbits who, yeah. you know, mate like rabbits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? It's like, like what? Yeah. yeah. What the hell? That's, uh, and we're back to the rabbits again. That's weird. That's kind of weird. Went full circle, people. Yep, there you go. But now prepare yourselves if... You know, like I said, with the zombie deer, the only thing you do is just get away from it yes. or kill it. Yeah. As far as this this wasp business, I mean, you see one coming, you just get the hell out of its way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. It won't kill you, but you'll wish you were dead, apparently. At least for about five minutes or so. So, yeah. No, that's creepy. Sanity. I mean, wasp things and stuff are, you know, hurt like hell anyway. Yep, so if you want to take the risk of eating some deer meat, you go right ahead. Yep, yeah, I'm done. Yep, no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Chris. Yeah. Here, bunny, bunny. <laughs> As it eats your hand off. That's okay. Right. That's okay. I bet you a bunch of people aren't going to get rabbits for Easter this year now. <laughs> uh, be careful, please. Ooh. Yeah, that'll probably go down now. But, yeah, that's that's crazy stuff. I do find it funny, though. What's that? That the main, the main sources of, like, a prepper or a survivalist uh -huh. uh, protein or whatever, their main sources are deer, rabbit, stuff like that. All of a sudden, there's, like, this disease. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, is that a little strange? Yes. It is a little strange. Yeah. It does make you think, you know, why? Why that? Yeah. I don't or, know. Or yeah. I guess, well, I'm going to go on the assumption of yes right now just because I don't want yeah. to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll just go under that assumption at this point. So. <laughs> wow. So, Tony's going to attack Elmer Fudd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Get back here, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here comes Wiley. <laughs> the, the Wiley Coyote is the um, <laughs> he's a reference for all the scientists duh um, yeah. yeah nothing works so there you go um, Chris is like animals are preparing to take over the world wouldn't surprise me a bit crazy yeah it is crazy because okay say this you know of course it's it's spreading obviously what are they going to do about this? I don't know that they can do anything about it. If they don't have a vaccine or a cure. No, but I mean, is there a plan to like eradicate them somehow? I don't know. So that's the thing. It's like, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to just let all the deer die? Are you going to yeah. have hunters to kill all there the was, ones? Yeah, you, there, ones? We, we didn't see one iota of a plan in there for anything. No, they don't have a plan. Great. It absolutely says they aren't even working on anything. Yeah, there you go. God. How can you not? If on the CDC site, it really does. It says the CDC right now is not planning. Okay. Oh, planning research for vaccination. That's what it says. Yeah. Not planning research for vaccination. Okay. Okay, good. Wow, wonderful. What the hell? Thanks for nothing. Yeah. Why are you here again? To let us know these things. Or you let this disease just come on out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Like manufactured it anyways. Yeah, yes. Let it, it come on out, it spread, and the only reason they came forward is because they couldn't keep it secret anymore. Exactly. That they wouldn't suck. surprise me a bit, Chris. That would, that he said the animals are making preparations to eradicate mankind. Uh, mankind, hey, mankind's way of fighting back, yeah. Yeah, mankind's kind of doing it on its own. We'll be the one in the hamster wheel with the little with the little thing. Ooh, the that's kind of a creepy scene. Ooh, bad visions. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. We'll have our little water straw that we drink. Oh. Ooh, it sounds like Twilight Zone stuff. Yeah, you never know. Some of those were really creepy, but yeah, we'd be having us in there. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's, yeah, that wasn't good. Oh. Now that's in my head, thanks. Oh, I have a nightmare about that. I'll be so tired when I get up. 
Yeah, I have some totally off animals here, like Good. gone Good. animals. Get out of my head. Yes. What do you Ice got? pushing business. What oh, the hell yeah. is that? You live by the Great Lakes. Yes. What is that? What, what is the deal with that? Because Why is it coming ashore? Uh, because of the winds. Because of the, it's actually, in, in the wave action, it's actually pushing them on shore. And it is crazy. Um, some of the formations, I mean, it just piles on and piles on and piles on. Um, if I get a chance, um, I'll try and take some pictures. So basically what it is, is like ice just piles on the top, yes. but like, what is it, like the mist freezes? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. We had, we had so uh, freezing fog snow. last week. We and had then freezing. the wind pushes the water from the Great Lakes yes. ashore and it's causing like these, these ice avalanches. Yeah, it's crazy. From the lake. And these things are like taking out cars and houses and stuff. Oh, yeah, it can. It's almost like, um, what do I want? To, yeah, almost like an avalanche type thing, yeah. Um, uh, there's another word I'm looking for. Uh, there's a word and I can't think of it. Um, there's a lot of videos on there if you guys want to go look. Um, it's a it's a, a surge of ice from the ocean onto shore. It's what it is. The temperature differences it pushes all this ice on because uh, we get it. We had one a couple of years ago. Oh my God, the formations it was there like forever. Um, the shoreline ice pile up is what they call it's it here. Called an ice tsunami. Yeah. There you go. It's caused by the ocean current, strong winds. The, temp the temperatures have been totally out of this. It's been crazy. It's, I went to work one day. It was 55. I left six hours later. It was 38 and went down to 22 that night. So this is what, this is what happens. It can create piles up to 12 uh, meters. That's 40 feet high. Um, ice tsunamis, yeah. It works like an iceberg, basically. Um, the, the sound is like being, it sounds like thunder almost when it happens. If I get a chance, I'll see if I can get some pictures. Um, that is crazy. Yeah. It, it can damage buildings, plants. Um, it, it actually, there's houses, it has to cross the road to get there. Uh, that usually doesn't happen very often, but it is crazy stuff. Um, it has to do with just the weather, how it's been, the wind. Um, the temperature's up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, it can destroy homes. It's crazy. Yep, it can. Yep, Lake Shore uh, giant um, slabs of ice can do that. I wouldn't be, you know, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if that would happen, like over here. Because uh, you, you have the beach area and then the lake, and the beach isn't that wide. You have kind of a retaining wall, a little one. It's like uh, waist high. You have the yeah. road. You have the road, um, and then you have houses. It, they're right there. So it, it's possible that could happen here. I'll see if I can get some pictures because it's going to oh. be cold. I'll see what I can do. Um, the Green Bay is good for that up in Michigan, out of Green Bay. Um, but with the weather the way it's been, it's not totally frozen. So you get this warming, you know, the thawing and freezing, thawing and freezing. Yeah, they, I'm sure they they do. They still do, Chris. So that that's what it's caused by this crazy weather. That is insane. Is yeah. there anything that anybody could do to prevent this from happening to their home or to their property? No, kind of no. It's kind of like flooding. Just going to happen. Just basically get out of its way. Be yeah, prepared. Yeah. Just grab your bug out bag and get the hell out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. No, you oh, can't. Wow. There, you can't stop it. It's like an iceberg, you know, hitting your home. But some of it looks like the ice is already crushed. Like it's like a, like snow almost. Yeah. It, some. Yeah. I'm looking at them now. What well, pushes it up and out is what happens when this this happens, and it'll uh -huh. kind of break up. It, it looks. Yeah. It almost looks like that. But actually, a lot of it's these big, huge chunks. It's crazy. It, like, pushes it up, out, and out. Um, Michigan gets a lot of that, more so than we do. But we do get some. I'll see if um, we ha um, have some going on. We had some 
hellacious one's going on a couple years ago. It was actually onto the beach, so it was oh, close wow. to the road. Yeah, it was close to the road, and it was uh, it got was warm, and then it got really cold, and then you know the winds and okay. everything. If the lakes don't freeze like they normally would, you have that warm current too, that warm current. Yeah. So and it pushes onto them. The winds are a big thing too, and the, we've had winds from hell. I'll tell you what, it's been crazy. Oh yeah, here too. We yeah. Have some- what Snow is Snow and ice, and it's just yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, the wind like from after, hell. On the average, every two days, we yeah. Snow. Yeah, we're supposed to get snow and ice Wednesday again, so I'm like, great, wonderful. All right, just what you need. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> is there any other, is there any other <laughs> weird phenomena you want to talk about that's going on? Or? Nah, I think that we pretty much covered the weird shit. Yeah, I mostly really wanted to discuss the zombie yeah, here. That definitely. was like the weirdest. Uh, yeah. That, it, yeah, and it is it's it is serious. Uh, don't take it lightly, honestly, don't. We do because that's how we deal with it. Um, and, yeah. you know, kind of relieves it a little. It, you know, yes. ugh, but uh, it is freaky. So, that is not a. Definitely. Be yeah. careful out yes. there because we don't know. Like they say, there's no overwhelming evidence that this can transfer to humans, but that just to me translates into there is evidence. It's yeah. just not overwhelming. And it appears. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Appears. Yeah. But, and it's but, inconclusive. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. So just please. Just be careful out there. Watch what you're doing. Yes. Watch your surroundings. Apparently, these deer are attacking people too. Yes, yes. So you don't, don't you don't want that. Obviously, don't. So you know, be prepared. Again, that's what we're about. Be prepared. As far as that that weird tarantula hawk wasp yeah, thing, you know, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> done with that. that. Is, no. Yeah. I'm done with that. Yeah, I'm done with that too. (laughs) So, uh, thank God, you know, it does go away, but you're going to be wishing you died for about five minutes. So, they still do, Chris. They have videos of that on YouTube of the ice tsunamis, what they call them. Ice shove, whatever you want to call it. They are on there. So, Um, take a look. It's pretty phenomenal, actually, what it can do. It can cause some damage, let me tell you. But I'll see if we have any big ones uh, along the shore here. And if they do, I will get some pictures for you. Absolutely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So that kind of wraps it up for tonight. Hope you had fun. Wasn't that fun? That was wild. <laughs> like I said, I mean, there, there, there are like a million deer like around yeah. the place where I work. That would be yeah, weird. we so have, like, they're, 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 you know, have the disease. If they're like in captivity over here. There's a fence around the area. So and they do get out. You got to be careful, but uh, you know they're that's where that's where they are. It's like great, wonderful. So four out of five deer yeah. can possibly have it. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to be overrun probably here. So I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> but I'm going to keep a closer eye on it. I'll tell you that. Oh See yeah. What, you know, as far as info and what's going on, and apparently the CDC doesn't have a plan. So yay. So. I guess we're on our own on that. Jesus. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Great. They don't it have is. a plan. Okay. Great. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just like, what? Um, There's this spreading like wildfires for like, deer that could probably be spreading to coyotes, wolves. Yeah, bear. Deer, rabbits, everything. Else. You know, hey, it's cool. Yeah, it's don't okay. Worry about it. Yeah. CDC says to... Remain calm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> so, again, be prepared. We're happy, happy government. Yeah, the government says it's okay. <laughs> so, we're all hunky-dory now. Don't worry. Okay. In, that, in other words, be prepared, okay? Uh, but don't confront them. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Do not. Yes, do not. And do not be one of these people who's like, Oh, well, they say that, that God might go ahead and try this spinal cord. Don't do it. Uh, yeah. No. And don't use kitchen utensils, apparently. So. <laughs> that cracks me up, honestly. 
Oh pay attention. Use rubber gloves. Yeah, yeah, use rubber gloves. <laughs> it's okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Bleeding out your eyes, but you're okay. <laughs> I'm consuming me. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I can't think straight out, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you want to do some shout-outs there? Yes, I do. Okay. okay. First off, to the KBLP LLC on Facebook. Go there, get some information. Um, get direct links to the shows, things like that. Um, KBLP LLC 4 on YouTube will also take you to the list of shows and, and direct links. You can listen to them from there, which some people find it easier. That's totally your preference. Let's see. I also want to again do a great big shout out to Kings Cannabis, who keeps us going, keeps us on the air right now. They're probably regretting that decision, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We uh, love you guys. Yes, we do. Um, very much so. And let's see. And then we have the Planet B period, O period, B period on Facebook. That will also take you links to the shows, different things. Survival Wolves. It's my Cronin's group. Yep. Awesome group. Go there. Check it out. He's got all kinds of prepping and survival stuff. We have N8 Survivalists. Go there. It's, it's just all prepping. That's it. Nothing else. And they have a lot of good people there with good tips. Good guy there, Lars, that knows plants like massive. It's oh, crazy. awesome. Uh, yeah, I really it is. It's insane. Um, he's like the, the, the plant guru. And then also, just for the heck, since we're talking about zombie deer, we are going to give a shout out to the Walking Dead Freak Oh, show yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Best group out there. So, yes, definitely. Go check these groups out. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and we're I'm not, not going to sure get that in. Up. We're not going to get that other in tonight. So yeah, probably not. You'll yeah. have to do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Are you? I'll just try to you... do my. I'll, well, I'll try to do my input through the to the chat if I can. Okay, that'll work. Uh, TW. I don't think I don't think you want to pre-record, do you? No, no. Yeah. So I'll just yeah. try to get in if I can. Okay. Awesome. Uh, walking the Walking Dead is back. We're on tomorrow night. Uh, she can't, uh, Michelle won't be with us live, but hopefully she'll be with us in the chat, so check it out. What a crazy, another crazy episode. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm loving <laughs> it, though. I also... <laughs> Put an input in now. What did you think? Uh, we'll get your input real quick. You give me my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the only part I believe, other than the, I the other is bullshit. I thought this was a bit of a filler episode. I mean, I don't think Lydia's, you know, incorrect past stuff was relevant to anything, do you know what I mean? No, but it kind of gave us how they evolved a little bit, I think. Well, maybe. You can see how, why she thinks the way she thinks, but it, is yeah. that even accurate? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so, like, I don't know. Daryl. Well, that's about the only part that wasn't bullshit. Gotta love it. Yeah. Gotta love it. But yeah, we'll talk more about it tomorrow night. But yeah, it kind of yeah, was. Yeah. But it was interesting. It was, a bit of a it was just kind of like before some action takes place, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Um. That that kid Henry is annoying. Oh, I told you. He's a see Sam. Yeah, I, I kind of think of like Carl when Carl was little too. Yeah, but Sam, oh. like you dumbass. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an idiot. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll get into that tomorrow night more. But yeah. good, want to get a little bit of your input. So backward is mass like mass ass. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Anyways, yeah, yeah. You okay. That tomorrow, but yeah. So be careful, of zombie deer. Be careful of tarantula hawks and yes. watch out. It's freaking ice coming off the lakes, people. It's coming to get ya. You yeah, got it. I'll try and get some pictures for you. <laughs> we'll see how how that works. I'm not sure how you know. Some places are more than others, so I'll try and get them for you. Anyway, so Walking Dead tomorrow night, um, Wednesday. Uh, Michael's going to join me. We're going to do a little sports talk. We're going to talk about the draft awesome. and what's going on with, you know, the free agency and all that stuff. He's, he's itching oh, yeah. to get back on. So I'm like, okay, we can do this. And don't forget to include racing this time because oh, yeah. the yeah. just happened and there, there are some pretty yeah. 
some pretty wild stuff there that happened in the last uh-huh. few minutes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll try. We'll get some Check racing. In. Uh, anybody who's a racing fan, let me know. Get you on the air. Trust okay. me, there's a lot of racing fans out there. I know a few. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> got you, girl. All right, all right. I'm doing, doing my alpha. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, sugar pie. Um, there will be conflict. <laughs> <laughs> there will be conflict. Um, but yeah, an interesting episode. But uh, so stay tuned to KBLP and uh, anything more we hear about, we'll let you know. Yep, definitely, so, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Yep, thanks for listening. Thanks, Chris, for all your input. Okay. <laughs> crazy freak anyway um make sure you tune into his show on friday nights which is freaks in the basement basement. (laughs) you used to be what happened why aren't you anymore oh yeah you used to go to the races all the time chris what happened well fine be that way I see how you're he's now driving for uber and he's made the whole town his freaking racetrack that's That's true that's true True. All right. He's not going to tell us. So, all right. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for listening. Just last thought. Zombie freaking deer. There zombie you go. deer. Think about it. There you go. CWD. Yeah. Freaking. Google it. Check it out. Please. Please, yes. please, please. Okay. All right. Good, good. night, guys. Good night, guys. <laughs> Peace out, y'all.
Imagine passing the cemetery and seeing an open grave, an open grave, an open grave. An open grave.